Hey guys, today you're going to make a calendar using Excel. Excel, um, when you use it in this form, works a lot like a table in Word. Um, it's kind of set up like a big table. So um, your columns are going to be identified by letters and your rows are going to be identified by numbers. Um, it is much easier to make sure you've logged into Office 365, but we're going to work in Excel um, 2016. Again, if you need to finish this up at home, doing it in Excel um, at your house will uh, is fine. Or Office 365 is fine. Okay, so I'm going to click on it here. Sorry. And um, I'm going to save this first, my blank workbook first. I'm going to click here, make sure I'm logged into OneDrive, and go to my six computers folder and save it as calendar. Okay. So, um, we're going to go ahead and create a, where it says, begin by creating a 7x7 seven seven grid. You're going to highlight A1, and when you see that colon, you're going to uh, read that as through, A1 through G7, and add all borders. So, highlight A1 through G7. Okay. Let's go, let's go through highlighting or selecting cells. A1 is right here. You know that because column A is right here and 1 is right here. It works like a grid. You're going to move your cursor to the middle of the cell. This is what I call a big white plus sign. It is your cell selector cursor. You're going to left click in the middle of the cell and drag to G7 and release. You're going to go up here to your border button and say all borders. You are going to make your row height 57. So to do all of this just one time, you're going to hover your mouse over where it says row one, your row one indicator. So like that and now your cursor should convert to a black uh, right arrow. So click and drag down to seven. That's selected those rows there. Go up here to format row height and type 57. Click OK. Do the same thing to your columns except make those 16. So you're going to highlight columns A through G. Have your mouse over A. Now it's a black down arrow. Drag to G. Format column width 16. Okay, I'm going to make row 1 just a little bit bigger, so hover your mouse between 1 and 2 right here on that divider, and we're going to click, so left click and drag down to about 70, it's okay if it's a little more or less, okay, and we're going to highlight, use that big white plus sign, so put your cursor in the middle of cell A1, click and drag to G1, and go to Merge and Center. And you can choose either September or October. I'm going to do October, so if that's easier for you to follow what I'm doing, go ahead and uh, do that. So we're going to type it. It is a proper noun, so use um, capitals. Okay. Then click in cell A2. No matter which month you choose, you need to do this. So um, you're going to type Sunday. You're going to capitalize the S because it's a proper noun and spell it correctly. Sorry. Press enter. Okay. Click in cell A1. So just click once. Don't double click. If you get a blinking cursor, this doesn't, oh, it doesn't work. Yeah, but it's all right. So just select cell A2. Sorry. Hover your mouse in the lower right hand corner. Watch this guys. Be prepared to be amazed at this. Ready? This is called your fill handle. The fill handle is very magical. You're going to click, so left click down and drag it to G till you see Saturday. Is that cool or what? Okay, so I'm going to do October here. If you're doing September, you're going to need to start a little differently. So if you're, I'm, if you're doing September, you're going to enter one and two here on Friday. So one, you would do one tab two. If you're October, 
you're going to do one tab two here. If you're September, you got to do three tab four for this next part to work. Okay, so you always have, so yeah. So if you were September right here, you would put three tab four. If you're October, you're just going to do one two. Okay, so October people, you're going to highlight A through A three through B three. If you're September, you're going to highlight A four through B four. All right, so we're going to do the fill handle again. You're going to move it to the lower right hand corner and drag across. Go to the next line, type the next two numbers that are not there. So eight, tab nine. Obviously September, you'd be doing it in row five and you'd be typing 10 and 11. All right, so you're gonna highlight those two cells, click and drag across. All right, there are, oops, sorry. There are 31 days in October and 30 days in September. So September, I think you end right here in G7. So we're done with the dates on our calendar. Now we're gonna do some um, formatting here to just make it look a little bit more calendary. Okay, we're gonna um, move our, our mouse between uh, row two and row three and we're gonna left click and make that height about 50. Okay, we're going to fill these cells a color, center them horizontally and vertically and bold the titles. Um, actually before we do that let's change the font for our whole sheet. So you choose whichever font like I've said before, avoid these Adobe fonts. Um, they kind of screw things up. And I don't like Black Oak Standard either. It's just humongous. Like, look, it can't even fit anything. If you use this one, your calendar is not going to fit on one page. Use that one. I feel like I always use this one. Ooh, isn't there a chiller? Just a second. I think there's like a chiller. It's Oct I'm doing October. I always love it when my font can match what I'm doing. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to select. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to select A2 through G2. Bold. Center right and left. Center vertically. It's called middle line. Make it as big as it can go without going into the next cell. This looks like I can do 24. Okay. And I'm going to fill those. Gosh darn it. Sorry. Um, <laughs> orange. I think I like. Maybe I should do. Yeah, no, I'll do this orange. I might do this. I might make my phone one size bigger. Wednesday's pretty, pretty tight. Not in a good way. Not too tight. But there we go. Okay. Now we're gonna highlight the numbers on our uh, calendar. So we're gonna highlight A3 through G7. This is the only place where we're gonna actually type in the cells. Everywhere else, we're gonna use shapes. So. We want to put these days of the week um, left aligned and vertically um, and top <laughs> aligned on the left and at the top. So we're going to so select your days of the week, go up here, put it on the left and at the top, like a calendar. Okay.
go up here and if you typed October just delete it and if you type September whichever one you typed just delete then go to insert word art it's over here it's in your text group this is your text group member okay um, like I said the other day with your course schedule just because I choose this one doesn't mean I'm bound to those colors but um, or whatever like the shading here oh, I like this one I'm gonna type October I might do it in all caps okay now the reason we made this cell bigger is because um, if I try and put my word art like up there it won't let me so it's nice if you need to make it just a little bit bigger go ahead and do that um, so you can fit it sometimes I make my word art the same size as the area so my day of the month is technically centered kind of anal like that I just like I like it to be in the center and look neat okay and um, again this is your text fill so that'll be I like mine how it's patterned um, if you want to change the pattern you can go to like text or gradient more gradients and go here and choose a pattern under pattern fill it's up to you um, I like those two patterns so I'm gonna choose the, I'm gonna change the outline though text outline I'm gonna make it orange and then a little bit thicker okay and then there are some different text effects like you could make it beveled you could make it a little bit 3d might be weird on this um, you could have a little bit of a glow or a reflection just like we did with the calendar or sorry with this <laughs> this is the calendar <laughs> with the uh, um, schedule and uh, as you can tell I have a little bit of a shadow there so I could change that to orange or whatever color I wanted to um, you can also transform it so that it looks a little different Apparently, it also makes it humongous. I didn't realize that. I may not do that. Oh, because it stretches it throughout. If you want to transform it, don't stretch out your word art like that, like your box. Make it smaller. I didn't realize it would do that. Sorry. Right, is that was that it? Text effects. They're not still pretty large and in charge, but not quite as bad. Okay. Um, of course, just like the um, course schedule, if you wanted to change, or yeah, if you wanted to change the borders, you could highlight here. Um, and go to cell borders and if you want to change them from black to a different color or like a pattern or whatever you just go to more borders and this one's a little bit easier you just choose your style here and your color here only thing is you need to apply it I'm going to do a thick outside border here. So to make it something thicker, remember you just change the weight of it. And then you just tell it where you want it to go. So if I want it to be thick like that on the outside, I would just do that. Until you apply it over there on that side, a little um, preview, it doesn't apply it there. Okay, we're done with this. Watch the next video for how to add pictures and events to your calendar.